Now, before I get to this point right here, what I like to do is sand all of my edges. Paint does not like to stick to a hard 90 degree edge. So we're going to take some 150 or 220 and we're just going to round that edge off a little bit. After that's all done and we've checked for scratches, et cetera, et cetera, on the top, then we're going to go ahead and flip it upside down and we're going to stain that first. We're going to try a couple of different stains and see what we like the best. Now, golden oak right here. This has been my most popular. That's what I generally do. It's really good with blues and, and red and et cetera, et cetera, trucks uh, with you black strips, white strips, chrome strips. It doesn't make any difference. The golden oak generally is your best way to go. But this truck here is a black patina truck, and the Golden Oak's going to be too much of a kind of a fluffy look on it, if you will. The truck originally would have come with a truck bed just painted black. Now, I don't want to just paint it black because I won't be able to see the grain and stuff as well. So what I've done is I've got some black stain, and we're going to try that out and see how we like it. When you're applying your stain, I like to do it with a brush. I don't like to spray it on because it's too much... Uh, in the air. I don't like using rags because it gives you too much lint. So what I'll do is I'll take a little bit from the jar and I'll pour it into a container like this so we don't get cross contamination. So when you're spreading this on, you might get dust and miscellaneous things like that on there. And we don't want to put it back into the can. So it's just a good practice to use uh, whenever you're doing anything like this. When I put this on, um, you have to wait 24 hours if you put on a coat and you don't like it. You want it a little bit darker, then you can't just go ahead and put another coat like you saw me do just right now because it's just not going to work. It's, it's um, not going to soak into the wood and it'll be exactly the same color. you got to wait 24 hours if you want to make it darker. So I think that what we're going to be doing is going with the black on this because the oak is just a, a little bit too light. It's a little too, a little too fluffy. But the black strip on the black, I'll be shooting a clear coat on this. I don't like to use the valve spar uh, stuff and the marine finish and yada yada. They just turn yellow. They crack too soon and things like that. So I'll be actually shooting this with the same automotive clear coat that I shot the 62 with. I'll be doing another video on that soon. So make sure you stay tuned for that.